Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make these two cards. They have a couple of different techniques within them. So we have some drop shadows as well as stamping some panels and then creating two cards out of the die cuts that we cut into them which is really really cool. So I'm going to be starting with a piece of acetate. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's the same size as the panel that I'm going to be using. This is going to help us later on. I'm then going to be using the bold alphabet die set. And this is what we're going to be used to cut later on as well. So I'm just going to place the letters I want from the bold alphabet die set into place. And then I'm going to actually adhere these down onto that piece of acetate using some alternate glue tape. Now this means that it's not going to move around and that piece of acetate then works as a guide. So we can um, cut this into many different panels and those letters are going to be in exactly the same place. So it really, really works well. I love using this acetate method and I think that it works the best for me. Um, but it depends on how you feel as well. So it might not work as well for you if you don't think. But I do find that this works really, really well. So I'm just adhering them down so they don't move. And then I can use them multiple times. And then create panels with the same exact cutouts. Because the piece of acetate is the same as the card panel. We can just line this up around the edges. And it's going to be in the same place every time. So I'm just going to remove that. And there's my piece ready. And as you can see when I place that down it fits perfectly. I'm then going to use the Heart Flowers stamp set and I'm going to just stamp my panel. I've adhered all of the base layers for the flowers that I wish to use onto my um, on my acrylic box so it makes it easier for me to just keep stamping away rather than having to change them off. For the lovely little pinks I'm using some pink diamond and for the blue I'm using the Mountain Mist for the base layers. For the leaves I'm using some para and also for the single leaf on its own I've used olive as well. I love the bright contrast against these really bright greens against those really soft flowers that we do have there. So I'm just going to keep going with the bases until I have the whole of the panel complete where I want it to be. I'll then move on to the second layer. Just doing the base layers really quickens things up as you're going along. For the base, um, for the second layer, sorry, I'm then using some pink alicious for the pink, and I'm using the volcano lake for the second layer of those blue coloured flowers. For the centres, I am going to be using some mango smoothie, and I've also taken the little three dots from the stamp set, and I'm just gone in between all of those little images just to add a little brightness with, again, with the mango smoothie, just to make it a little bit different and fill in some of those spaces. Once I'm happy, I'm then going to cut it. So I'm going to take that guide that we've done with the acetate guide with the letters on there, and I'm just going to tape this on to my panel. Because it's exactly the same size and I don't want it to move around, I do add some tape to both sides just to make sure it's going to stay in the same spot. Once I've done that, I've made my sandwich for my die cutting machine and I'm just going to run that through my machine. So as you can see, I'm just going to then take off the washi tape and the letters just pop out perfectly. If they don't pop out, I do have a trick, so I will show you that in a second. So I'm just going to remove that panel, and look how pretty that looks. So my trick to remove those little letters that have stuck in is just take a pin and pierce it through the acetate sheet through the hole that releases the letters. I don't mind if I have holes in this acetate sheet, but I really don't want to move those letters about if I want to be able to create the letters in the same place on different panels. So that's a way that you can keep them in place, but then get rid of the letters in between the letters that are stuck. Okay, so again, I'm going to add this onto a panel again. This is some gold cardstock, and it, I've just added some tape to both sides and then run it through my machine. I can then play around with both of these layers and see where I want the shadows to be. Once I'm happy, I'm then going to turn my piece over, so the stamped piece, and I'm going to glue on the back of the stamped piece. It's always easier to glue on the piece that you're going to stick down so you don't have any adhesive showing through. So I'm just going to place that in and then once I'm happy with where the shadows are, I'm just going to push it down and it's going to stick into place. I'm just going to remove the bit of gold that's popping out the side there just with some scissors and I'm just going to trim that off from the front because I can see exactly where the line needs to be. Once I'm done that, again, I'm just going to flip that bit over 
add some more glue and then add this onto the front of my card base. So once I've done that, once it's all nicely stuck down, that's one card complete. I'm then going to create the drop shadows on the second bits that we have. So these are the letters that we've cut out rather than the negative that we've just used. And I'm just going to glue the top part, so the ones that we've stamped, and then place them into place onto the gold ones, just leaving a little bit showing. So I'm just slightly offsetting them upwards a little bit so we can see that lovely gold peeking through as well. I can then play around with these where I want them to be on my card base before I use some foam tape to stick them down. You don't have to stick them down with foam tape if you don't want to. You could definitely use some glue tape, but I just wanted a little bit of more dimension on this one, and that's why I've chosen to just use some really thin um, foam tape, so it's really still quite thin. So once they're all in place, there are the two cards complete, and I just love how different they look, even though they were from the exactly same piece of stamped panel that we've just done. So again, as I loved these cards, I did create another two. So this one's using the Hibiscus Builder Flower from Altenew, and I just love how that one looks as well. It gives it a really tropical look there. So here are all the four cards together, and here's the ones that we've just created now. So, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it and that you like the techniques that have been shown as well. I would really love to see what you come up with. If you would like to watch any more videos, we have a couple here that you can watch at your own leisure and we would love it if you did. If you don't want to miss out on anything that we do upload to the channel, it would be great if you do subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.